Ox horns? Short? Shorts! <laughs> Welcome, everyone. It is good to see so many patrons of the arts. For tonight's entertainment, we bring you an artist of no small renown. He has sung for Thrall and Orgrimmar, and in other great halls, and today he graces us with his melodious voice. I present to you Hat, the Singing Turtle. <coughs> Yonder tree shall be my gallows, there I'll hang to end my sorrows, thus to life I make rebuff, world good night I've had enough, for I was too harshly treated, all my hopes have been defeated, very soon I'll cease to be. <laughs> you suck. Hey, hey, that was Mozart from the magical flute. I give you Mozart and you jeer. Don't you forsaken have any taste? We only like what the great critic likes. The great critic? Who is this great critic? Bring in the great critic. practice every day. <gasps> Nobody insults Mozart. I challenge you to battle! Fight! 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 Yes, what is it? Well, Master, there is a problem. Uh, what now? Uh, go look outside. What the? <laughs> For the love of Leroy. A stupid little crab. I take him under my wing and pay his way through college. And this is how you pay Stupid. <laughs> Dumb little crab. I'm gonna show that guy a thing or two. What in tarnation is going on here? Come on, Barnaby. Oh, come, come on, Barnaby. He's a singing turtle for crying out loud. <laughs> I can't let Barnaby lose. Christy Cooks, ex meal looks too sister again. Here we are. Ah, here we are. Largest crabby with big toes. Grow thyself to slay thy foes. Little turtle, hat in hand, grow up big to smite that crab. Curse you, Quintus! Why'd you do that? Fair is fair, master. That's it! No gruel for you! Oh no, where are they going now? It appears that they are heading south, master. Uh, blight. And now, for the news at nine, here are your anchor hoodies, Phineas and Hacky Bobwa. Thank you and good evening. Terror in Stormwind. That's right, Phineas. It was just another peaceful day in Stormwind when quite out of the blue, a giant turtle and giant crab arrived and began to wreak havoc. Isn't that right, Phineas? Terror in Stormwind. Thank you, Phineas. Let's see what some of the locals have to say. I was just sitting here weaving my bonnet when suddenly this big crab leg comes out of nowhere and ruins my basket of yarn. I mean, can an elf knit in peace? I came all the way from Darnassus because Stormwind was the only place I could find lavender cloth and mauve yarn. Do you know how hard it is to find mauve yarn? And after all of the prejudice that I have to suffer because people think I'm... <laughs> Be 
Barnaby. Barnaby. And hat. Hat and Barnaby. Barnaby. And hat. Barnaby. Hat and Barnaby. Hat and Barnaby. Barnaby. You two monsters. We mighty morph and midget gnomes have been sent to destroy you. What have you to say? Um, are they serious? Yes, oh monsters, hear me. Stand there and do not move while we mighty morphing midget gnomes take on our form of great power. Midget gnomes unite! Hop, 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 hop! Oh, mighty morphin midget gnome unite! Green, mighty morphin midget gnome unite! Pink, mighty morphin midget gnome unite! Yellow, mighty morphin midget gnome unite! Red, mighty morphin midget gnome unite! He's so tiny. He's kind of cute. Aw, he's so adorable. Can I keep him? Yeah, he's starting to get a little annoying. Barney B, will you do the honors? I'll sort of miss the little trucker. He... He, he was so very brave. They just don't make spells like they used to. Mm. Don't let him get away! Don't let him get away! Kill him! Run! This way! Whoa! 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 <laughs> Let's wait here until our flags drop. Should be about ten minutes. Then? Well, then we taunt them, since they won't be able to attack us. Should prove for a fine evening. Oh, and uh, no more insulting Mozart. And that concludes our news at nine. This is Hacky Bubwa. And Phineas. Saying goodnight, and go blow it yourselves tomorrow. Terror in Stormwind. I was just sitting here weaving my bonnet when suddenly this big crab leg comes out of nowhere and ruins my basket of yarn. I mean, can't an elf knit in peace? I came all the way from Darnassus because Stormwind was, only, was the only place that I could find lavender quaff and mauve yarn. Do you know how hard it is to find mauve yarn? And after all the prejudice I had to suffer because people think I'm... G <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have way too much fun with this. Can you do, uh, I, I don't even know, know if you've tried, but have you ever seen Bobby's World? Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> they, uh, they talk about getting the fish down there, you know, in the pond during the morning. And that concludes our news at 9. This is Hacky Bubba. And Phineas. <laughs> you lost it. Let hey, us idiot. try. I really don't think I can do a Minnesota accent. I'm telling you, it's not something I can really do very well. Well, can I hear it anyway, just for fun? I, the only thing I can really do is imitate Bobby's mom and something she says, but even then it doesn't turn out so hot. I, well, I gotta... Well, well what if you tried and, and then just threw in a don't you know, just wherever. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what hey, don't wh you know? <laughs> worst comes to worst, I just won't use it, so... <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I can do it. I think I'd be too normal. Okay, I'd be well, more like, that's right, Phineas, it was just another peaceful day in Stormwind, don't you know? <laughs> it's like it wouldn't work. <laughs> Well, okay, so we'll let's see if, if we can uh, uh, cerebralize um, this. So you take vowels, and you draw them forward, and you saturate them with lots of, lots of saturation, right? That's right, Phineas. It was just another piece with... No, I'm not even doing <laughs> it right. <laughs> what are you doing? That sounds like... Oh, that's right, Phineas. It was just another piece for day and stop. No, I'm not... That's like Cockney or something. Oh, don't you know? Yes, Phineas. <laughs> I could do the old Jewish lady from New York named Golda. Her name was Golda Goldstein. And she has a husband named Harry. And Harry, is, he sits around the house all day. I can do a horrible British accent. Might as well hear it, since we're yes, here. Yes, like one of the absolute worst British accents you've ever heard. I, don't, I can't imagine a, a British-speaking orc, though. <laughs> well, you know, the undead could speak British quite well, but the orcs, I doubt it. True. What is this? <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's gonna be 
too funny. <laughs> it's silly. <laughs> I'll go then. That's gonna be fun. <laughs> this is gonna be great. <laughs> But Peggy, Peggy's a blip. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't funny. I'm having yes, fun. Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah, you're enjoying every minute.